Yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome once again. I am Brett Papa. And so you guys, the man, this freaking Hendrix video, you guys are digging this thing I did. And so I, why not do some more? Cause freaking, oh, is there anything better than playing Hendrix? I mean, it's, it's like, it's just supposed to be. <laughs> So anyways, that's coming up from a course that's linked down below. It's actually the membership site, but the Hendrix course is going to be part of that as well as all my other courses. So if you guys, people always ask me, dude, what's your course should I get? Well, if you get the membership, you get everything. Plus there's a bunch of new stuff. There's like freaking 70 hours already. And plus there's, no, wait, there's more. <laughs> I think there's 55 new videos coming out that are already out. If you get the membership, you'll check out never before seen stuff too, which about 20 of them are from a Hendrix course, which I am so freaking pumped about. You guys hired like some sick session guys. So the tracks are just, ah, oh, just it's gonna be good. <laughs> it is good, some of it's already there. So make sure you check that out if you're into the Hendrix stuff and you wanna support the cause or just wanna support the cause at brettpapa.com. The membership site below is a very awesome way to do that. Plus you get 25% off any of the collaborations I do with any other artists now and in the future, but that's only if you check it down below. You guys are awesome. Let me know what you think of this video. This is part of this is part of like the shapes. It's just like this video we did, but I go super in depth into every shape and then also how to start combining those shapes with Kelly Lakes, there's gonna be tabs, all that stuff. So down below, check it out. You guys are awesome. We'll catch you next time. All right, let's do some E shapes, the minor and the major. It's a very popular chord progression. And again, this isn't Hendrix's chord progression. It's Bob Dylan's and this little known band. Led Hendrix, probably. Led Dylan to Hendrix. <laughs> All right, I'll be here for a long time. Okay, so. We've done a lot of this kind of thing on the E minor shape, so let's go up to this higher. Remember, we're, we have the position one of our pentatonic right below our fingers. So why not go up to the uh, B string this time? A little bit bigger of a stretch. It's gonna be a step and a half, and it's gonna be seven, 10, seven, roll over. Right, and it, it's single notes, it's not double stops. I mean, you can, you can do a double stop. It's kind of difficult down here though. Okay, so the, the, the hammer on, you want to really accent those. Okay, and it's the same pattern on each, it's and then roll up to the string above. Now it's gonna be different because of the shapes. This is a minor. This is a major. And then. So those movements. That's B to G, right? It's gonna be B to G on this A chord. Okay. And you wanna keep those ringing sound great when they ring together. Okay, so that's gonna be root, root, and then do the hammer on. Same thing, but now we're gonna go to the E and the B. All right, so the. And then I'm gonna walk up the pentatonic scale, right? So. This song is in the key of B minor. So this fifth position is great. It's also a way to walk up from this G chord. 
and then back into this chord. But it just depends on how you want to see it, right? So some people like to think of it using this. Some people like to think of just the pentatonic, like going up, right? So that would be five, position five to six. So I'm gonna slide on five to seven. Okay, and I'm gonna do that with my third finger because I wanna go from five to seven, and then I'm gonna hit five with my first finger, and then I'm gonna go back to my third finger, and this is gonna be from seven to nine on the A. And then I'm gonna hit a double stop on the D string and the G string seventh fret. Okay, now, after I do that, I'm not gonna do this again. I'm gonna go to the more standard. So it's the double stop on the G and the B, seven, nine, seven, roll. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the A and the G chord though. Okay, so we got Okay, now that's a quick slide on the D and G, seven and nine. And then, and I'm going down, up, down. Now, as you do that, you know, on the maybe on one of them you try, right? So. And you just change the order and the strings that you do the hammer on. So. But I like to switch. So like if you're gonna do, I like to do two lowers and then a high. I kind of like that sound. So maybe if you do. It kind of mixes it up. I don't know. I like it's it's you gotta think about those hammer-ons. You're essentially doing melodies, right? And so think of the melodic line you wanna hear. I like the sound of. Because that last one, you're almost expecting it to be, right? It would sound great, but something about that is just like a little extra something, right? It's a standard. He does this song to 50 different ways, 50 different keys, 50 different tunings. It's like 101 <laughs> Hendrix. And it's so good for transitioning licks like these, uh, this position five in the pentatonic scale to position one. Or you, you might hear him go. Those kind of things. That's another one you can try. Now remember, this is gonna work. This Suspended the, the A. Because remember, that's part of your B minor chord, so that works. 
See how that one doesn't quite work? All right? I mean, it's okay if you went. Now you're getting like mystical Hendrix, and that's just freaking awesome. I love that sound. So that would be. It's hard to get. You, you don't have to think about that one as a bass player. <laughs> you can do that one. This is not going to be the last time you hear this progression. We're going to, so this is a great progression to solo over, great progression to do all these kind of licks. And it's cool because it's one shape. This is the probably the easiest, the E shaped chords are probably the easiest uh, way to get that Hendrix double stop thing underneath your belt when you're first trying in the beginning. If you stick all to that shape, remember position one's under the minor shape and position two is under the major shape. Right, so like that position too. These work. That those work too. That's another, that's another lesson. We'll do some more of those. We got some progressions. We got a killer progression like this one coming up soon. All right, so let's get into some other style progressions before we get into playing with the actual drums. <laughs> 